everyone. Welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me. Got a cool little lesson today. I have an American folk standard here, Home on the Range, and I created two arrangements for it. And I did one Carter style, real beginner version, and then I did one definitely in the intermediate category, a little more expressive, move around on the neck a little bit. And I just thought it was uh, you know, a lot of fun to write this arrangement. You know, the tune sounds real simple, and you know, it, it is, but for whatever reason, the melody just lays real nice on the guitar. And I just found myself singing it around the house like all week while I was working on it. And I just don't know what it was. It just kind of stuck in my head like a lot of tunes do. But I just thought the melody was just really cool. Um, the way it just, you know, goes up and down and back and forth. So, and uh, that second arrangement, I kind of created a cool little effect that kind of did a little drone. Or maybe a better term might be called pedaling. I pedaled on the open D. was a cool effect and it just kind of happened you know I was writing and it just kind of you know sometimes they when I'm writing the arrangements they flow and sometimes they take a little work but this is just I just thought they had a nice uh, little flow to it and so cool yeah I obviously go over all that in the lesson but um, so yeah if you'd like the if you like the way this is going, you want to purchase the full length version, as it's just a preview here on YouTube, head on over to my website and check that out. This video lesson is going to be about uh, probably over an hour in length because I'm going to have both arrangements and also a rhythm lesson because I do some other things with my rhythm playing too. I get a little bit more creative. I add some chords that maybe typically wouldn't be there. And it adds just a lot of, you know, some color to the tune. I thought that was really cool. So, um, yeah, got the rhythm lesson, PDF tabs, three backing tracks. I got a slowdown of me just playing the whole tune through. Yeah, the whole tune through. Um, so it comes with a lot of stuff. And if you like the way I teach and approach learning guitar, please, I encourage you to check out my whole library of tunes and instructional material. I add a new lesson every week, sometimes two lessons. And, uh, yeah, and if you really like it, I encourage you to check out being a member. Now you can access all my videos in tabs for a monthly fee and I'm excited about offering the memberships at my website. I think it's awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and start walking through this lesson a little bit, give you a taste of how it's going to go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and break down Home on the Range here. And uh, just a nice basic arrangement. Um, again, if you're new to my lessons and uh, maybe you're a beginner perhaps checking this out, just a couple things real quick. The markings on the bottom of the staff are your pick directions. And so the staple looking symbol, so the first note, there's a mark underneath there, that's a downstroke. And then um, the V looking shapes are an upstroke, okay? So really keep those um, sorted out in your right hand, make sure you understand the down and up and you're doing that, super important for your timing. Um, other than that, for this piece, I think that's that's primarily it. Oh, one other thing, I guess two other things, I guess. Um, we're in three, four. So three beats the measure, that's what the three, four on the left hand side there means. Um, yeah, three beats to each measure. And then for some of the strums, so like the first measure, as you notice it's marked zero, three, three. And that's the spelling out the bottom half of this G chord here. So I'm still gonna finger my whole G chord, but on my strums, no matter which chord I'm at, I'm gonna focus my strumming on the bottom three or four strings, primarily the three strings. And if, if I hit something wrong, I accidentally strum too much, then I'm, my hand's in position to play the right notes. But um, I don't wanna strum all the way up and down my strings, okay? Across all of them, just the bottom three. Or four, if you hit the four, that's all right, but three or four. So just note about that too, and we'll be playing both kinds of G, two different positions of G throughout this piece. Okay, so just making note of all those things if you're new to that. If not, um, then you know, <laughs> repeat myself, you can ignore that, but perhaps you didn't know. So I'm going to play the first uh, four measures here, and then we'll break it down. So, one, two, three. So 
right there. I got my G chord here and uh, my second fingers on on top or on the, I should say on the low string and I got these two on the B and the E in the third fret. So some people play G like this and we will play G um, like that here perhaps in this arrangement. But for now I got what I call and call the full G. It's a little slang term I just use to kind of distinguish between the two. So um, I got a quarter note there on string and then I've got uh, two sets of eighth notes or four eighth notes in a row there one and a down up down up. one two and three and one two and three and down down up, down up okay that's those eighth notes, and again, those are what's beamed together. Those eighth notes, when you see a beam combining two eighth notes, well, then you have that's that's what makes them uh, two eighth notes together. So, <laughs> if that makes sense, sorry to confuse confuse you, but just want to make sure you know what the symbols are. And then we got quarter notes. This part is pretty easy, just all down strokes. First fret B, open B, second fret G. And I might get out of it's over top of the D7 chord, the band or the bass is actually changing chords here. But we won't move our fingering too much. I'll use my first finger, then open. I'll probably use my second finger on the second fret. And then it'll be open B string. And I'll still finger my G like this, but I won't have my third finger, I won't have my third finger placed down because the melody note is on the B string. And again, there's their series of eighth notes again, the four eighth notes. Um, down, up, down, up. Okay. And then the last measure of that line, open G. And then a down, up. And then two eighth notes on the G string. It's kind of the pick up into the next one. With the deer. <laughs> so... measure we still have four eighth notes in a row there. Mm -hmm. 